Hello, welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing an upper body and core routine that I'm very, very excited for. We're only gonna be using two dumbbells and a soft flat surface or yoga mat. And this is gonna be a very slow and controlled low impact, that means no jumping, Pilates inspired routine. So the movements, you're gonna to wanna to have a lot of control. So it's important to go lighter. My dumbbells are five pounds. If you have something lighter, that is perfectly fine. The heaviest you wanna go is probably gonna be five pounds. We are gonna be doing a quick warm up in the beginning and a cool down and stretch at the end. So make sure you stick around for those. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you check out our Patreon account. There I'll be sharing workout videos, training tips, downloadable monthly training guides, and you'll also have access to our virtual group fitness classes, which are twice a week. They are a lot of fun and they're a really good challenge. So if you're interested in any of those, make sure you check out the link in the description below. If you're ready to get this workout started, grab your mat and grab your dumbbells and let's get to it. So we are gonna start with a nice, easy warm up, and we're just gonna start with first, all the way up, squatting down, reach, touch the ground. We'll just walk through, talk through this warm up. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Right after this, we're gonna be doing big arm circles. And three, two, one, and just stationary, nice big arm circles. Awesome. Really big circles. And then we're gonna squat again. Four, three, two, one, nice and deep. Circle up, circle back down. Nice. Exhale, inhale on the way down. Get a big stretch. We're doing lots of shoulders today. Three, two, one, go the opposite direction. Big circles. Come a little more forward. Good, make sure you're breathing. We have one more round. Three, two, one, squatting down nice and wide. Circle. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, exhale. One more arm circle. Three, two, one. Big circles, whichever direction you wanna go. No jumping today. Woohoo! Can't say it won't um, burn or hurt. Three, two, one, now we're gonna reach down in the middle, rotate up, reach, rotate. Good. Keep your back as flat as you can. Really try to stretch up towards the sky. After this, I'm gonna turn to the side and show you. Three, two, one, you're bending over, reach forward, reach around, cross your hands. Forward, around, cross your hands like a snow angel, but standing. Big reverse snow angel. Inhale, exhale, get good mobility in those shoulders. Three, two, one, bending again, reach. This should feel really good on your back and your hamstrings and your shoulders. Nice and low, three, two, one, reaching around again. Keep a nice flat back, head looking down. Arms up nice and high, three, two, one, down again, rotate. Nice and wide. Rotate, good. Should burn a little, but feel nice. Good, 
three, two, one, last one. After this, we're gonna do walkouts, okay? On our hands. Exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're walking forward and back on your hands. Keep your hands on the ground. Down and up. Core tight. Sit slow. Last one. And then we're gonna push back into a downward dog. Come forward. Back, get a good stretch. Forward. Nice and controlled. Inhale, exhale, and walking back again. Should feel like a nice, really good warm up. A feel good one for once. <laughs> All the way up. Make sure you're breathing. Last one. Up and down. And push all the way back and forward. Push your hips back when you go back. Tuck on the way down. Push back, elongate. Forward. Three, two, one. Walk it back. Last one, down and up. Legs pretty straight. One more. Down, pushing back. Get a good stretch. Inhale, exhale, good. Go at your own pace, go nice and slow. No rush. Three, two, one, and relax. Nice, see that felt good. I like it, I'm trying to get the warm-ups a little more low impact, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna grab your dumbbells. And like I said, um, lighter dumbbells, better for this. We're gonna start on our, our stomachs today. And we're gonna have our arms lift with the weight. And your legs you can keep flat. So you're lifting up, pushing forward, squeeze. Forward, squeeze. Forward, squeeze. Right after, you're gonna keep your arms up, down, lift your legs with it. Down, lift. Keeping those dumbbells out to the side and like a 90 degree angle. Okay, don't let them drop at all for this one. The legs lift and then stay down for the first part. All right, this should really burn the shoulders and your lower back. Even the little glutes. Three, two, one, hold, press. <sighs> Squeeze the shoulder blades. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Nice and slow. <sighs> Three, two, one, and we're lifting legs, chest. While suspending. Inhale, exhale. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Three, two, one, relax. Woo, you should feel that a lot in your root out. We're gonna take about a 30 second rest. I never said that, so 20 seconds each, 30 second rest. And just relax. You should feel that a lot, like I said, in your shoulders, your rear delts, your back, and your lower back. Going again. Three, two, one, lift, push, squeeze. Try to straighten your arms, squeeze. Flex your core. Three, two, one, lift. 
squeeze. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one, relax. Woo. These movements do not play, as you can see, <laughs> as you can feel. So just relax your arms. Try not to go too low to where my mic touches the ground. Woo. It's a good resting position. We have one more. Get ready. Last one. Three, two, one. Lift. Squeeze. Squeeze those shoulder blades, go nice and slow. Three, two, one, down and up. Nice and high. Inhale, exhale. Breathe. Three, two, one, relax. Whew. Stretch that out if you need to. But moving on to the next move. We are gonna be lifting one arm and the opposite leg at the same time. So we're lifting down, lift down, really slow. Right after, you're gonna turn your hand in while simultaneously bringing it in to tuck back out twist squeeze your core back out straight tuck squeeze back out so it's like that type of motion all right same thing on the next side oh the shoulders already burning let's do it 20 seconds each and we are going three two one, go. Lift, down, keep the core tight. Inhale, exhale. The little glutes you'll find out today. Three, two, one, tuck it in, back out. Tuck, out. Good. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides and go. Next down the way up. Nice and controlled. Core tight. Three, two, one, tuck it in, back out, tuck, out. Make sure you're breathing. Squeeze the ab. Three, two, one, relax. Whew. Nice work. We are already sweating already sweating up a storm. <sighs> this is what exercise too. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, that's why I said light dumbbells. Fives are pretty heavy for these moves. Going again, three, two, one, go. <sighs> good, nice, good form. The core engaged. <sighs> Exhale on the way up. Three, two, one. Tuck, touch your elbow to me. Every time. <sighs> Tuck. <sighs> Good. <sighs> Breathe. Three. Two, one, switch. 
and go. Lift. Squeeze those core muscles. Lift that leg. Use a little glutes. Three, two, one. Touch your elbow to knee. Out. Back out, good. Nice and high. Nice and slow. Should be shaking. Three, two, one. Rest. Ooh, all the parts should be shaken like a little earthquake. Okay. <laughs> if it gets too much for you, you can always drop the weight and go here and do the same exact moves, okay? There's no shame in that. You could do this whole routine without um, even holding the dumbbell and you still will get a good benefit. We're going again. Last one, three, two, one, go. Hips nice and square. Shoulders back. Make this last set really clean, really controlled. Three, two, one, tuck it in, out. Crunch that core. Touch your elbow to knee. Almost there. Three, two, one, switch sides. And go. Ooh. All the way up. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Three, two, one. Tuck. Extend. Squeeze, extend. Good control. Three, two, one, relax. Ooh, awesome. While you're resting, I will give you the next move. We are gonna be doing a nice high plank rotation. Legs wide, rotate up. Back down, control up, control down. Then we're gonna dip, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Okay, then right to the next side. A lot of shoulders, lots of obliques. Let's make it happen. And we're gonna do 20 seconds, three, two, one, go. Rotate up and down. You can touch the ground. Up slow, slow on the way down. And three, two, one, down and up. Get a nice stretch down, squeeze the side. Shaken. Three, two, one. All right, to the next side, go. Twist. Nice and slow. Four, three, two, one, down and up. Squeeze. Or tight. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one. Relax. Ooh. Bernie. Your arms should be lit on fire. 
We're gonna do that again, starting with the side that we just ended with. Whew. Lots of body control today. I love it. Let's do it. Three, two, one, and go. Down, core tight, hip slow. Nice control. Three, two, one, down and up. Get a good stretch. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Right to the next side. And go. Woo. All the way up. And down. Nice and controlled. Core tight. Breathe. Three, two, one. Down and up. Squeeze the side. Three, two, one. Relax. Woo. Your shoulders should feel very burny. Bless me. We're gonna do that one more time. And then we're gonna flip over and really isolate um, the core. Still with some arms. All right, last one. Three, two, one, and go. Nice rotation. Control on the way down. Three, two, one, and we're dipping. Nice low hip dip. Use those obliques. Three, two, one, switch. Right to the next side and go. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Nice control, three, two, one, down and up. Push through, it's the last set. Don't drop. I know you want to. Don't do it. Three, two, one, rest. Ah, I mean, who wouldn't want to drop out of that? <laughs> All right, we're gonna flip over. Woo. And we're gonna be doing some in and outs, some core. So we're gonna actually start low <clears throat> with our feet planted, arms overhead. And we're sitting up all the way really tall and slowly back down, okay? All the way up, sit tall, back down. Right after you're gonna lift your legs and you're gonna do bicycles alternating with your dumbbell presses, okay? Opposite, opposite. Staying off the ground if you can. Really slow, really controlled. All right, we're gonna finish with those. This is the last move. It's a nice one today. Not nice, okay? Take a deep breath, 20 seconds each. Really controlled, three, two, 
One, go. <sighs> Sit up tall. Down. <sighs> you can go a little faster, but just be very controlled. Sit up tall. <sighs> Three, two, one. Bicycle presses. <sighs> Good. <sighs> Keep the core tight. All the way in, all the way out. Flex the abs. Three, two, one, relax. Ooh. Very good. I confused myself with the second part. Ooh. Which one where? Ooh. Go with whatever feels right for those. Your knee in. Opposite elbow, you can do that. Just flex your core, keep it smooth. We're gonna do it again. Three, two, one, up. Pull with your abs. Good. Sit up super tall. Inhale on the way down. Exhale. Inhale. Almost there. Three, two, one, bicycles. <sighs> nice control. Flex your core. Sit up as much as you can. <sighs> Three, two, one, relax. <sighs> one more. Yay! Then we are gonna say goodbye. Last one. We'll stretch first, of course. Three, two, one, go. A little bit faster, but still controlled. Rotate up. Rotate down. Don't let your body just slam on the ground. Really use your abs to control. Last one, three, two, one, out and in. Fully extend, squeeze your abs. Breathe, you're almost there. Four, three, two, one, relax. Woohoo! Amazing! We are gonna take it down. Take it down. Ah, that was lovely. We're gonna take one leg up, cross, arms out, and hold. Very, very good shoulder focus and core focus. You should feel those, all of those movements in your tricep, your chest and back as well. But I would say your shoulders, you should feel it the most. All the way up. And twist again. And then for each move, we were really using our core so, lots of stability. Anytime you have to stabilize yourself, you have to use your core muscles. That was fun though. I think I need to get some lighter weights. <laughs> or just some really holding stationary type of moves, you know? I know there's a myth that you can't get a good workout with light weights, but you totally can. It's just about your intention and what you're doing. Because we know that even with your body weight, some of those moves are way harder than lifting a weight. And having the control over your body. <clears throat> it's 
slowly getting better at those myself as I as I try to progress I try to get my clients and you know people I care about me to also progress as I feel like if you're not progressing you're regressing <laughs> well, we don't want to regress stretch your arms forward and reach just as far forward as we can. And then you're gonna take your hands and just walk as far to the side as you can. You should feel a really good back and lat stretch. Walk it around to the other side. And all the way back to the middle. And we're gonna sit up. And we're gonna go into downward dog. We did this last today. Sliding. We got extra sweaty today. We're sliding. Back flat. And slowly walk it up. We're going to take our hands. Clasp them behind your back and go slowly down and just let your hands kind of lift up if they want to and hold. Feels really good after that. Routine, little torture, dumbbell routine. I like this though. And slowly up. Ooh, and we are done. I hope you all liked that and you got a good, nice rhythm going. I know some of those moves can be a little challenging with your balance, but keep practicing. And you can even practice without any dumbbells at all. You don't necessarily need them, but it was a really good tool to have. So if you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel, share this video with any family or friends that you think would benefit from it, and I will see you all for the next workout.